Volunteers with the group Tree People are planting trees and other plants at this national forest near Los Angeles. These native species have been crowded out by invasive mustard and thistles. So we've been planting about 40 different species. Some of them are grasses, some of them are what you would call shrubs, some of them are trees, um, you know, oaks, elderberries. All native to this ecosystem. Trees are a crucial component. Because we know trees have multiple benefits. Trees will shade humans, the environment, as we see increases and dramatic increases in extreme heat. Trees help retain water in situations where there's flooding or we're trying to prevent water runoff. And trees can capture huge amounts of carbon, reducing global warming. It has been confirmed in study after study, including one by European researchers recently published in the journal Science. Planting trees also counteracts deforestation. Forest restoration projects are underway in countries such as Indonesia, says a San Francisco-based researcher with the World Wildlife Fund. In a project called 30 Hills, where um, they're taking a comprehensive approach, not just to carbon benefits, but all the co-benefits that come from forests and from restoration, including poverty alleviation. In one case, creating a habitat for bees and a honey-making business for local villagers. The recent study says new forests could capture two-thirds of the extra carbon that has entered the atmosphere from human activity. But it's not the only answer. It's one of the pieces, and another huge piece of it is reducing our energy and industry emissions. We really need both things. As the climate warms, healthy forests are more resistant to fire and provide shelter from the sun for animals and humans. While governments can help, here in California, individuals and local communities are also doing their part. Take personal responsibility help plant trees, it's fun, it makes our communities greener, more climate resilient, more sustainable. Won't make a hole in the ground. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles. Can I scare snakes?